In this video, I will be comparing the Rocat K100, aka one of the best mice for bridging, with the Model O minus wireless, also known as one of the best mice for PvP. I own both of these mice and have used them both for more than a year now, and I can tell you that they are both very good mice. This video is for people trying to decide which mouse to get. I will test things like CPS, bridging, and more. Both of these mice have different versions, like the Model O minus has the Model O, Model D, Model D minus, and all the other wireless ones. The good thing about the glorious mice are that they can all drag click and double click, so don't worry about that. For the Rokat K100, there's the Rokat K102, which is the same, but white, with all the same clicking capabilities. There is also the 120 and 122, but the only difference is that those are made of better materials and more expensive. Finally, there are the Rokat K200 and 202, which are the same, but wireless, but keep in mind these mice cannot double or drag click, so if that's what you're planning on doing, don't get those. For CPS, I'll be playing some clips of people bolt clicking on both mice. Bolt clicking really isn't the best clicking method in game, but it helps with pushing a mouse to its limits. Still, the CPS you get from both mice really depends on which clicking method you use. As you can probably see, the Model O can reach a CPS of over 150, while it seems like the Rokat Kane has a cap of around 60. So why don't Pro Bridgers just use the Model O? Well that's for two reasons. Reason one is because of how consistent the CPS on the Rokat Kane is compared to the CPS on the Model O. For example, I can consistently get 30 CPS long drag on my Rokat Kane, but on my Model O it takes me around 6 tries to get that high. Reason 2 is that in Minecraft or really any other game, you don't need more than 40 CPS. Anything above that is just a flex. Now I will be guard bridging and tele bridging on both mice. Keep in mind I am still not consistent at tele bridging, so don't be mad if I don't get a full one. As you can see, both mice can do both bridging methods. However, guard bridging is much more consistent for me on the Rokat Cane due to the fact that the mouse feet keep the mouse in place. This is good because I don't hold my mouse while I guard bridge. With the Model O, however, the mouse feet were too good. They glided way too much, causing me to have to rest my palm on the back of the mouse to keep it in place. Now on to tele bridging. For tele bridging, I actually am split. On one hand, the drag click on the Rokat Cane felt much more consistent, but the Model O mouse feet kept made it easy to move my mouse while tellying. So if you're trying to tele bridge, it all comes down to preference. Also, for the texture, the Model O doesn't have a very good texture, so I recommend using either masking or electrical tape. The Rokat Cane has a pretty good texture, but it, this does wear off, so you'll have to use tape eventually anyway. Now onto PVP. And I'm going to give you the conclusion straight up, the Model O. This decision is because of Minecraft PvP, being able to aim fast and accurately is crucial. The Model O weighs 69 grams, nice, and the Rokat Kane weighs 89 grams. While I don't notice the difference that much, I do notice how well the Model O glides in comparison. Also, the ambidextrous design of the Model O fits my hands way better than the Rokat Kane, given how I have freaking baby hands. Really, I'm not the one you guys should be listening to about PvP, as I'm barely past an absolute noob. So, in the end, which mouse should you buy? Well, for me, I'm going with the Rokat Kane. I chose this mostly because this is the mouse I've been using for longer and I've gotten more used to. As for you guys, it comes down to what you prioritize. If you like bridging, fast clicking, no grass, and go, go with the Rokat Kane. If you like combos, PvP, and smooth gameplay, go with the Model O. Anyways, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.